Hi everyone, this is my chemistry channel. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the peroxidase enzyme. It's a example for redox redox metalloenzyme. And again, this is a eme containing metalloenzyme which is, uh, is the essential to decompose the hydrogen peroxide okay which is a very toxic okay so it's a eme containing enzyme which is used to decompose the hydrogen peroxide to water molecule So this reaction is enhanced by an enzyme called peroxidase. As we have discussed in previous video, this, uh, what is it, catalase enzyme, which is used to again reduce the, sorry, decompose the hydrogen peroxide into a water and molecular oxygen. Likewise, this peroxidase is an enzyme also to, used to decrease the concentration of hydrogen peroxide. It is used to convert the hydrogen peroxide into a water molecule. Okay. This oxide, this peroxide is exist as a exist in radish root plants. It is extracted from the radish root plants and it is also extracted from the sap of fig trees. So it is generally called oxide radish peroxidase. Simply shortly called HRP. So this oxide radish peroxide is mainly extracted from the radish root plant. So they are called oxide radish peroxidase. So this this oxide radish peroxidase enzyme is a very color brightly colored enzyme. Brightly colored enzyme and it is really eye reactivity shows eye reactivity towards tumor cells towards tumor cells so again this peroxidase enzyme which is used to protect the cells and it act as an antioxidant and it also used to reduce the toxic effects of peroxide against organs and in plants it is used to important for the synthesis of metabolites so this was some biological role of peroxidase enzyme and if you see the structure, let's see the structure of peroxidase enzyme. Again, it's a eme contained protein so, attached to the four nitrogen ligands, nitrogen of four pyrene ligands. This and methyl group and pro sorry. Ethyl groups. And we have imidazole ring of attached with the imidazole ring of histidine residue. Okay. And this is the structure of peroxidase enzyme. In the above and below, the two calcium atoms are bind. So this calcium atoms are very far attached with iron atom with far away. Because uh, this calcium atom is, is a divalent calcium atom, it's usually may, used to maintain the structure of the this peroxidase enzyme. 
if it engages it removed from this enzyme this peroxidase enzyme loss its activity so to enhance its activity this calcium atom is binded with this iron atom so above and below of the porphyrin plane okay and it has distal histidine groups which act as a base in the peroxidase okay so because of this reason only it is a brightly colored enzyme compared to other enzymes okay so the role of calcium 2 plus is used to increase the activity of peroxidase enzyme that's why it was bind above and below of the porphyrin ring so this calcium atoms are very far away from the metal atom let's see the mechanism of mechanism of peroxidase enzyme so this peroxidase enzyme is again similar to catalase enzyme and it has in catalase enzyme we have discussed only two step mechanism and this peroxidase enzyme has four steps let's see that So this is an active enzyme. If it is difficult, I will draw in one more thing. This ion is attached with the studying group and this is a native enzyme. So some of the books say that they follow four step mechanism. Let's see that to this native enzyme the hydrogen peroxide is added. After losing its proton, it attached with this enzyme. Here, iron atom is in the plus three state. After attach of addition of hydrogen peroxide. This ion becomes plus four state. Okay. So this is a compound. Keep it as compound zero. It is a ferric hydroperoxide. So it's a ferric hydroperoxide compound. Okay. So we have, after addition of hydrogen peroxide, it forms this compound with the histidine unit, which act as a base. Okay. After this, gives water with the release of this proton by the histidine unit. Okay. 
which is a compound one it's a intermediate which is a green color compound named as oxo ferrite porphyrin pication radical okay so it is a green color compound called as oxo ferrite porphyrin pication radical which is in the plus 4 state again after some substrate when you adding the reductant substrate like this it converts so it is a oxyperoxidase which is red color deep colored so after the reduction of the substrate the remaining water molecule it forms a native enzyme so this is about the mechanism of peroxidase enzyme. So first this peroxidase enzyme, native enzyme which accepts the hydrogen peroxide and forms the compound. This is the intermediate which is called ferric hydro peroxide with the distal histidine groups. So this histidine groups uh, makes a transfer of proton which leads to the formation of water molecule. And it, after this, it forms a compound known again intermediate, which is the ion 4 complex, ferrile complex, which is a green color, oxoferyl porpyrin picatayan radical. After some substrate addition, which leads to the substrate reacts and generates a water molecule and gives oxyferoxidase, which is red color. So this oxyferoxidase again is converted into native enzyme and release of water molecule. So this is the simple reaction mechanism of peroxidase enzyme. Okay. So in simply this Fe3 plus is converted into Fe4 plus in first stage and again in this Fe4 plus with the help of hydrogen peroxide and this Fe4 plus with the help of another substrate Reductant substrate converts this Fe4 into Fe3 to 3, which is a native enzyme by producing the water molecule. Okay. So this is about the mechanism, overall mechanism of peroxidase enzyme. I think it will be very useful for you. And if I like, if you like my video, please like, comment, and share my videos. For more videos, please click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.